Yes, I know. My face is naked. I look crazy, guys. I look crazy. What's up, Grumpy Nation? I am back. Today I'm coming with something completely different than anything else. Basically, what's gonna happen today is this is my one year anniversary on YouTube. This month, March. I don't know the exact date. I guess I could look uh, on my videos. But today we're gonna do a few things. I'm gonna review a bunch of random shit. Also, I'm going to watch some of my first videos. Now, it's only been a year, but some of this shit is so cringeworthy, guys, I can't even deal with it. So you are gonna join me as I watch some of my videos. All right, guys, so first I'm gonna watch my very first ever YouTube video. I can't even, I, let's just watch it. The title is terrible. Funko Mystery Minis dash The Walking Dead Series 3 Unboxing. Wow, look at that intro, guys. I was called Blue Eyed Soul 25. What's up, YouTubers? Uh, this is Blue Eyed Soul 25. Wow. I am sick as a dog. And uh, my Who, watches Who watches so this? Who watches this? I'm gonna open them up for you. Um, I've been collecting uh, Pops, Funko Pops, for a little bit. And the minis, the little mystery minis. Um, so. Okay, nobody oh, cares, dude. Let's like skip. We are four so, minutes into this, us, uh, about to open a whole case of minis, and this nothing has gone on that is have, awesome. Uh, I think series two. So on the back okay, here, dude. we've got a bunch of figures we can get. There's a few Hot Topic exclusives. Uh, one of 72, one of 72, one of 36. So 17 um, minutes. So yeah. No editing so, so some, far. Uh, this is terrible. Ones. I'm not really sure what this is. This is uh, wow. a chicken. Box number four. I forget Idiot, her name. it's Maggie. Maybe you can tell me in the comments. I don't know. Some of the uh, lesser characters. Lesser characters? Really Maggie is a fucking main character, you idiot. But again, I can't. I can't job. watch this one. Let's go to the next Super one. Sturdy. It's gotta be better, right? So this one says Funko Mystery Minis, Disney, and Marvel. Alright. Awesome intro. Ooh. What's up, what's up? I'm back again. Welcome, YouTube nerds. Uh, I got some new pops. I got some. All right, I got a decent amount of stuff to unbox for you. Got my Funko uh, shelf got showing. This guy in the mail from EntertainmentEarth.com. That is Smaug. I don't know if you can see it from the Hobbit. It's the uh, awesome dragon. I haven't even opened them yet. I gotta be honest. I don't think I'm gonna open them. Uh, I'm gonna save that for another day. I'm gonna put this guy right here on my shelf. We all know everybody loves Frozen, so let's get into these Frozen mysteries. No, minis. no, they don't love Frozen. Nobody loves Frozen. And I'm gonna say this is not fucking a snowman. This is terrible. I gotta be honest, guys. I don't know how this you even watched Elsa. this when I started. Singing this is Elsa. ridiculous. Looks like she's she's right in the middle of singing uh, "Let It Go," your favorite song. All right. I'm so excitable. I don't know. I don't know how you guys couldn't look away because I'm just so excitable what? and so fun. This is a All right, this is a gem right here. The Frozen Mystery Minis, really? What's up, you I did a whole nerds. video with Frozen Mystery Minis. So I sold 25 back again for some more unboxing today. Uh, amazing camera Frozen work here. I gotta say, this is amazing. By Funko. I like the right, um, the whole fish the, eye. I like the real, Frozen the real nice fish so eye and the shit lamp. Amazing. Happens. Um, what a dickhead, too. You see my shirt? It says California. Guys, so you can't afford it. One, but, um, these are actually I seem super excited about the Frozen minis, minis too. It's awesome. Uh, a lot more than... Yeah. Frozen, Frozen. Wow. Frozen Amazing a, special effects, rare. guys. This I is like top-notch shit right here. Very cool looking. It's <laughs> kind of clear and blue. and Looks like she's frozen. Okay, um, I can't do it anymore. That is ridiculous, guys. That is ridiculous. So... That is a little look into my first three videos ever on YouTube. Uh, I don't know how any of you subscribed. I really appreciate it though, and thank you for sticking with me. All right guys, so I'm gonna do a bunch of random toys that I have chilling in here. I got some Funko Pops, I got some other stuff. So let's just get into it and check out what I got. All right, now this one's awesome. Uh, a friend of mine found this out and about in California for me. This is one that I needed for my horror collection and I have not been able to find. I'm so excited, so thank you so much for that. Boom, it's Sam. Sam from Trick or Treat. Now, I love this movie. I love this this uh, character. It's just really cool looking, creepy as hell. So let's check him out. This is how it came out. Uh, 
I've never seen something like that. In the box, his head was off. I am perplexed. It looks like it may click back in. Oh, thank God. Okay, it does click back in. Or not. Alright guys, I don't know if you can see that, but there's a little, little notch there. Uh, and it should go right into this head, but it's just not working. So I don't know if it was a de defect in the pop or what. I'm so bummed right now, dude. It's fine. It's fine. I'll fix it later. F***ing shit. Got it. Did not get it. God <laughs> damn it. Alright, I'm not going to mess with Sam anymore. He's just going to chill right here uh, with his jacked up head. But I'm really excited about this pop and I'm so bummed that his head's busted. But I'll fix it. I'll glue it or whatever. It's fine. This one I couldn't pass up because it's too damn adorable, okay? This is a Entertainment Earth exclusive Flocked Poe. Look at that shit. Flocked Poe. Now this is a damn adorable pop. Alright guys, he is so awesome. Check him out. Woo! Look at that. Awesome. Now he is flocked, uh, so I, hopefully it won't get dusty in this room. It's not too dusty in here, so I should be good, but this is a really cute pop. And I gotta say, the coolest part about him is his little butt has a little fuzzy tail. You see that? A little fuzzy butt. So, very cool. I love Poe. I love this pop. It's awesome. And it's Jack Black. Come on. You gotta love it. Alright guys, next. Uh, this is too funny. My mom was going through the garage at her house uh, in California and found some stuff. And she said, hey, do you want me to send you this, these figures I found of yours? I'm like, okay, whatever. So she sends me these two Star Wars figures. And they are the... Powers of the Force, the Power of the Force, Han Solo, and Luke Skywalker. Now, I shouldn't probably open these, but I have to. And they look so ridiculous. They're so ridiculous. So let's open them up. All right, now I do know people that collect these Power of the Force figures. Uh, my friends Paul and Kat over at Comic Trips, if you have not checked out their channel, definitely check it out. It is so freaking awesome. They have a great dynamic. Uh, they're super funny. And yeah, you want the careful way, careful way, want the motherfucking careful way. It's just a great channel. So comic trips, check them out. But I know that they collect. Uh, I know Paul collects the Star Wars stuff, and I know he collects Power of the Force. And I hope that you don't need these because I just opened them and ruined them. But I couldn't help it, man, because these damn things are so cheesy. I mean, this has got to be the worst sculpt of all time for Star Wars figures. Look at Luke. He looks like He-Man. Dude, why is he so jacked? He's like a jacked up Luke Skywalker. It looks so stupid. I don't know. And his lightsaber, I gotta be honest, it seems a tad too long. Look at that. A <laughs> little bit. I like that angle better. I think they came out in like 1994 or something like that. Let's look. Yeah, 1995 they came out. Uh, it was, you know, we were we were inundated with Star Wars, and I was as a kid, and I had all the original figures, but these are just, I mean, these are freaking terrible, honestly. All right, now the Han Solo one isn't as bad. I mean, his face sculpt doesn't look too bad. It kind of looks like Harrison Ford, but his body, again, he's they got these, like, He-Man bodies. I don't know what they were doing with these, but this is ridiculous. Uh, and he does have his blaster that you can put in his hand, and then he comes with this extra little gun, uh, I guess, to put on his shoulder or something. Yeah, I like that. So... Uh, yeah, he... The funniest thing about Han Solo is his feet are like this, so they, he can't even stand up. I mean, this is just... One leg is longer than the other. One leg is literally longer than the other. Can you see that? His toes are pointing up. He looks terrible. Uh, I do love Star Wars, and I love Star Wars action figures, but this is one series that I could definitely do without. The He-Man, jacked up, roided out Star Wars figures. Not a fan. Alright guys, now my first foray into the action figure... Uh, detailed action figure world was McFarlane figures. Back when I was a kid, McFarlane was the one and only action figure. They had the most detail, uh, they just looked super realistic, and I collected so many football and basketball and baseball action figures, it was crazy. But this one, uh, I've had for a long time, and I've kept it in the box, but it's just collecting dust, and I want to see what it looks like out of the box. So this is the old school Barry Sanders. Now this is the NFL Legends. Uh, this came out in 2005, um, and on the back here, we've got Johnny Unitas, Franco Harris, Lawrence Taylor, John Elway, Barry Sanders, and Troy Aikman. Okay, so there's that. And again, guys, these were the end-all, be-all of detailed action figures back when I was growing up. But I have a lot of Raider ones up here on my wall. 
that I will never take out of the box, but I've got tubs and tubs worth of this shit in my garage, so I figured I'd open one up. Why not? This box is just ruined now, so it's never going back. Dude, this thing smells like such strong, like, plastic, like paint or something. I don't know, man. It's crazy. All right, now, as with most of the football McFarland figures, we've got this little piece of, of turf, which is pretty cool as a stand for it. Holy shit, man, I swear I'm getting, like, plastic poison. This is ridiculous. It's so strong. All right, guys, now there is Barry Sanders, and he's making a hard cut. Uh, you know, his face looks pretty close to Barry Sanders. I don't even get a good look at that, but, you know, it's not bad. It's definitely not bad. Uh, the detail on him, I mean, his jersey looks cool. He's got the little Reebok logo there on the shoulder, which is awesome. Uh, the helmet's great. I mean, this is a really cool figure, and like I said, for what it was back in the day, there is nothing better than McFarlane figures. You just couldn't get better than that. So let's see how he fits on the stand. And there he goes. Look at that. That is awesome. Now, this is something I'm definitely excited about displaying on my shelf. I mean, that looks cool, man. I really like it. And Barry Sanders, one of the greatest running backs of all time, I definitely had to open this dude up and check him out. So that is Barry Sanders, Todd McFarlane, NFL Legend Series. Very cool. All right, guys. So last but not least, this is something that I've never really got into, but I had to get this one because it was on sale somewhere. I have none of these figures yet, and I wasn't a huge fan of them, but I had to get Wonder Woman because she's rad. So... This is made by Vinyl Sugar, and this is the Vinyl Vixens Wonder Woman. It's a very cute take on like a little kind of vinyl statue. I really like it. Now on the bottom of the box, it says $29.99. That is definitely not what I bought it for. I found it for $5 at a Go uh, calendar store. They were going out of business or they're ending the season or whatever, so they just had everything marked down. Uh, they ran out of pops, but they did have this for 5 bucks. How can you pass it up? All right. I gotta be honest guys, this is pretty awesome. It's a it's a cute uh, vinyl figure, but it's heavy as hell. It's got this stand now. There's an extra peg on there that's a different size than the feet pegs, and I don't understand what it's for. It's just like a little pig there. I don't know. But this is really cool. Now, like I said, the stand comes off, um, but it's really heavy, and it's sculpted really well. Her head does articulate a tad. I mean, it's, it's very, very minimal, but look at that. That's pretty awesome, man. I mean, like I said, if, if you're into these, like, pinup style figures, I think these are really cool. And if you've got a bunch of them, uh, they would look awesome on your shelf. Now, there is, on this Vinyl Vixens, there is Wonder Woman, Batgirl, Catwoman, Harley Quinn, and Poison Ivy. So that's awesome. But I really actually like this. This is something that I'm kind of pumped about putting on my shelf. All right, guys. So, listen up. Uh, coming soon, I've got a podcast started. I'm going to record about five episodes uh, before I release the podcast, I've got some great YouTubers and some awesome people that are already lined up to do the podcast. You guys are going to be super stoked, I think. Um, and I've got more pops, more pops than you can imagine. I've got some premium format figures coming. I've got giveaways coming. I've got mystery minis. I've got everything. So guys, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for the first year on YouTube. It has been unbelievable. And watching back and looking at those old videos, I have no idea why you guys subscribed in the beginning. God, I was boring. Um, but I've been able to keep at it, and with your guys' support and help, it's been so awesome, and I get great feedback. You guys are awesome. I'm going to do a Q&A uh, in the comments, okay? So whatever you guys want to talk about, hit me up on the Q&A in the comments on this video, and I will try probably in a week or so to do a Q&A video and answer all your questions. But again, Grumpy Nation. Thank you so much. You guys are awesome. And thanks to all the channels that have been super supportive as well. You guys know who you are. Um, but thank you again, guys. Grumpy Nation, you are the best. Seriously, I, I, I'm so humbled and I can't believe it. So thank you so much. Have a great day, guys. Peace. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like this video and you want to see more from the Grumpy Nerd, please subscribe over here. Also, check me out on Facebook. Twitter and Instagram. I've got tons of giveaways. I do lots of fun stuff guys. So thanks for watching. Take it easy Grumpy Nation.